hi guys welcome back again to the channel today we are going to make this we are going to sew this blouse if you have not watched the video of the drafting of this madame blouse i will leave the link in the description of this video you can go ahead and click to watch i will also leave it in the comment section so just go ahead and click to watch so that you understand this part so with that being said Let's get started. So guys, I have these materials here. This is what we are going to use to make the blouse. I have paper gum here, paper gum stick. You can make use of any one you have. Hair stay. If you have hair stay, go ahead and use it. And I have my wadding. This is medium type, not the soft type. So I would advise you to use this type of breast pad. Medium. It's a bit thick, but not the thickest. If you go to the market, just tell them medium and you'll get it. Another thing is lining. I'm making use of cutting lining for this. You can make use of any type of lining you have. For me, I prefer using cotton lining. And this is my lace and lace lining, which is a uh, satin. So guys, the first thing to do is to use this pattern to cut on the these two, the lace and this satin. I'm going to cut this, this center part I'll be cutting it on fold and every other ones will be two two one two that is one two and then this one cut on fold which is this so having done the cutting the next step is to you know is to the lace and the lace lining the next step is to go over to the machine and sew on all the edges i'll sew it on all the edges round so in other words, I'm going to pad it together or join the join it together. So guys, after attaching the lace lining and the lace, this is what I have. So I went ahead to cut the lining. And yeah, this is the lining. For lining, if you are using this cutting lining, we call it MBJ. You buy one and a half yards to be enough for it. So after that, the next step is to attach paper gum using pressing iron. So this is how you go about it. The side that has gum, this shiny face will be on the material. And then you iron it on top. and attach the paper gum on all of them so guys i've attached the paper gum on all of them both the front and back if you have enough paper gum you can also attach on the lining the next step is to cut the wording to cut it i'm going to place it like this this place will be at the under bust the sides the side part so guys to cut this side I'll fold the the pad into two I'll fold it into two and I'm going to make sure that the length I have here is 6.5 
6.5 from here to here. And this side will be at the under bust, like this. This is the under bust while I cut. Can you see what I did? I stopped it here at the neckline. So if you want to curve this side, if you don't want to leave it like that, you curve here like this, it's optional. And then you curve here if you want. guys the next step is to stick the wording to the fabric you have two options to do that it's either you gum it with your pressing iron or you stitch it you can go to the machine and stitch here stitch here stitch here and stitch here so anyone that is okay for you go ahead and do that but for me I'm going to stitch I'm not going to gum it on the fabric this is the side that has gum. Do you understand? On top. So I'm not going to place the side that has gum here on the fabric. No. If I place it, that means I will use iron to join it together, to stick it together. That's not what I will do. I'm going to leave it. The side that has gum will be on top. This side has gum. This side has gum. And I'll go to the machine and use my sewing machine to stick it on these edges only. So that after, when I attach my lining, after attaching my lining, I will iron it. And when I iron it, this, this side that has gone will stick on the lining instead of the material. Do you understand? So guys, I'm done attaching the wording like this. So the next step is to join. To join it, we are going to sew like this. I'll place it like this and yeah. So I'll pin it down. So I'll go over to the machine to sew this and then sew this side as well. After sewing this, I'll sew the lining and I'll be right back. So guys, after joining the front side, this is what I have. Is to use the lining to turn the neckline Clo close up this side the two sides and here and then I'll turn to the right side from the armhole you understand so I'm going to reduce the length of the lining so after reducing the lining I'm going to drag it equal I'll drag it equal like this and I'll close this side I'll drag it up See the neckline. I'll drag it up again and sew the neckline. Do you understand? And after that, I'll close this side and close this side. So guys, after sewing, I notch this side, notch this center side and this side. So after giving it a notch, I'll turn to the right side from the armhole. So guys, this is it for the front side. We are going to sew the back side now.
So the back side we have two parts. Two parts to it because we have zip at the back side. This is the first part, this is the second part. What I'll do now is to place it like this. This is the armhole. I'll place it like this and stitch. I'm going to sew like this with half an inch. So you may want to pin it before sewing. So I'm going to stitch the dart. So guys, this is the two of them. After sewing the dart, this is what we have. So this is where we are going to fix the zipper. And I'll be calling it Sunday lining. What I'll be doing now is to reduce the is to reduce the lining just like the front side. So the same way I'm going to drag this, I'll drag this to sew this side, drag it up, sew the neckline, sew the zipper and the two side and the side. I'll do the same thing on this other one. After fixing the zip, this is what I have. So the next step is to join the two shoulders and shape the two sides. So to join the two shoulders, I'm going to place it like this. And I'll place one of the shoulder like this. I'll place it like this. Can you see? And then I'm going to use the lining to cover it up like this. You will need to hold that place because once it shifts, you will not like the outcome. And yeah, you go ahead and stitch. Remember, I'm stitching with half an inch. After shaping the two sides, this is what I have. So guys, we are done with the blouse. And as you can see, it's looking so beautiful. Go ahead and try it out and let me know your results in the comment section. What is remaining now is the sleeve. You can make any sleeve of your choice and attach there or fix there. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you have not done that already. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I'll see you again. Remember, if you have not watched the cutting, the drafting of the blouse, Go ahead and watch so you understand this part. Till next time, I will see you again. For now, it is bye-bye.